welcome back to the tutorial so in this tutorial what we can do is first what we can do is first let us go to register activity and we can add a dialog block that is progress dialog yeah private field is never assigned why show oh it's never assigned nothing else so we no need to worry about it we can yeah first we can now create a private what you can do is yeah private progress dialog it's not progress bar it's progress dialog equal to loading bar you can just create a loading bar and we need to set the reference for it loading bar equal to new progress dialog of this and now what we need to do is for that we can just go somewhere like admin register activity here it will have progress dialog we can just copy it and we can just paste it over here where it is and yeah if everything is filled and we can just keep it here it is progress dialog and it is loading bar and what you can do is and change it to loading bar loading bar and it is also loading bar and it is also loading bar and yeah it's okay please wait while you and yeah if and what we need to do is wait this was it For dismissing, what we can do is so here on complete listener. If it is successful, we can just dismiss it. Loading bar dot dismiss. Now it's okay, and we can just to make sure everything perfect. We can also add on failure listener because if it is failed and the progress dialog that is the loading bar won't stop loading so for that here also we can dismiss it yeah now everything is perfect so what we can do is in this tutorial what you can do is you can register the seller home activity uh, we can design the seller home activity for that what we can do is first we need a navigation drawer layout here we have navigation drawer layout and for this what we can do is um, we need to create one more navigation drawer layout so what we can do is we can go and create a new before that we can see it is draw layout new layout resource file it is draw your layout and we can name it as seller home layout yeah seller now home layout it will be better because we it is seller navigation home yeah now it is better seller navigation home layout now we can create this right now yeah, in this text view, what we can do is first we have to, we need to include this. So we can just copy it and we can paste it right here, which is here. And instead of this activity home, we need to call the activity seller home. Yeah, now it's perfect. Now, what we can do is for this what you can do is you can just copy it and we can paste it right here and now we can see the preview of it and we need to include this app and now instead of start we can just remove it yeah now it is like this what we can do is this it's just the biggest sneeze ever and yeah 
and for this the here it will be will display the logo of our company and octavally it is okay and now we need to change this so for that what you can do is it is start and now we can create now new navigation resource file which is which will be called as now seller drawer menu now it is perfect name for it and now here what we can do is so instead of this it is i think it is seller now it is yeah it is we can close this first you can close the unnecessary things we no need home right now we no need activity home also right now and we have copied this so we no need this also and we are not going to work in this and we need this board alone and for here what you can do is it is now seller drawer menu which is yeah now seller drawer menu and now everything is perfect now we can see now if it is removed we can't have anything because we have not created anything in that it is start now we can create here what you can create is we can just go out here and we can just copy copy an item and we can just paste it over here and now here we can paste it and we'll be having a cart but we don't need cart what we need is let me say you guys yeah and let me say you wait a minute and uh, let me yeah let me check it because i have already made this app wait a minute guys and we have the password i have already made this app and i'm just teaching you it is home yeah we have four things so the first one goes to now home and the id yeah and the title can be called as home and now what you can do is you can paste it one more time two more time three more time and yeah the last one is it is it can't be now home we need to specify it yeah it is seller home and it is add new product so now seller seller add which is add new product and now instead of this what we can have is we have orders we need to see the orders of the particular seller and what else we have is we can log out from it it is not log out it is already there seller log out and it is seller orders okay. seller orders and now we can change the text view of it it is orders and here a new product and now it is from here it is logout and if we need some more functionalities we can add it later and now everything is fine i hope so yeah if we remove it we can see it yeah here we have here we go and here it is start and we need to set the icons we can just set the icons right now and for add new product what icon do we have is let me say you guys and we have for this we have some separate icon called add so we can copy it and i will give it in the link in the tutorial we have add and here we can just go to drawable where it is yeah here it is and we can just paste it it is in the drawable not p24 keep in mind guys this drawable we can add it it is already exist so we can just overwrite it so here add new product we can have add and for it we have the logout and for this what we can do is we can create a 
we can just import something called file new vector asset and we have it is loading wait a minute yeah here we have something called store so here we have store here we can see the orders yeah this is better so it is black color okay okay and now for orders you can have the store and now here if we see in the design it looks pretty just remove it here we can see everything beautifully yeah everything is fine so we have designed our what it is it is yeah home activity and now what we can do is hmm, yeah we need to initialize it and now we know this right now and we have something called activity seller home where it is here it is here we have nothing we can design it right now yeah before that what we can do is we need to go to seller home activity yeah here instead of this activity seller home we need to pass seller now home layout now it will be perfect and now what we can do is yeah we can get those ids yeah we can go to home activity and you can see how we have get it because i don't like doing again and again so yeah here it is on navigation item selector on web trust and where it is and yeah here we go here we have what we can do is first first let us just go to activity home the seller home we don't need this seller activity we need it and it is where it is now draw a layout and here we have only two things and let us check it for seller now where it is we have one and two and for seller now we have one and two and yeah these both are same right now so we can close it and it is now seller home activity and home activity and what we can do is we have some id for it yeah we need to specify some id let us see what id we have given and it is called the id is navigation view so we need to change it for it navigation view underscore seller yeah, it will be better now what we need to change else is and in home activity draw a layout yeah where is the where is the draw layout here we have draw layout so we need to change it for it also so we can give some id of it id seller drawer layout now it is perfect and now what else do we have is we have toolbar and we don't have toolbar and let us check where is the toolbar and i think it will be in home activity home activity home we have nothing but it is where it is here we have here we have toolbar yeah so here we go here we have toolbar so what we can do is we can just copy this toolbar and we can paste it in a seller home and here instead of this toolbar what we can do is we can use the id as seller toolbar we have seller toolbar and now what else do we have we can go to home activity and check we have draw a layout and we have a toolbar we have navigation view and uh, what else do we have yeah i think that's it we have yeah we have that's it and yeah here we go now we need to create so first let us close this home and this home 
and we can just initialize first everything we have a drawer we have a drawer and everything else is not needed so we can go to seller home activity and we can create a drawer yeah now what you can do is next we have toolbar just copy this toolbar seller home activity and here we can have the toolbar over here and here what we do one or two is instead of this yeah title can be home instead of this we have seller toolbar and now that's a protection bar yeah everything is okay now we have this instead of this what we need to do is so instead of this it's not dry layout it is seller drawer layout now it is perfect now what else we have is we have navigation view copy this and we can paste it right here we can name it as navigation view it is navigation view seller and yeah now what we have we have action word dot toggle and we can copy it and what else we need to do is so it is same now drawer and it is toolbar and it is open and close and and it is this yeah everything is fine everything is good so now we can add the listener and everything else is same so we can just copy it and we can paste it right here and after this what we need to do is and what we can do is it is seller home activity dot this now also it's showing the mirror yeah it is navigation view without set no 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 we need to just delete it and we can delete it and now we need to create the method we have forget it cast for yeah we need to implement it okay on navigation items after now it is perfect now after this what we have is and we can just copy it and we can paste it right over below here and yeah everything is fine and now here what we have is we have four riders we need to switch it so we can switch it for it so yeah that's it we can close this close this and close this and now here what we can do is yeah we can now switch it switch menu item dot get item id and we have four item ids case or dot id dot now seller add in case of add what we need to do and case or dot id dot now seller home in case of home what we need to do and in case of or dot id dot now seller logout in case of logout what we need to do and for next one is case or dot ID dot now seller we have orders in case of orders what we need to do and now what we can do is we can complete these two first wait a minute guys holy shit it has been confused let us just log out of it what we need to do is first in case of logout what we can do is first we can final we can call the firebase it is firebase auth 
Firebase auth, we can call it as m auth. You can call anything you want. It is your wish. M auth equal to Firebase. Firebase auth dot get instance. And now after getting the instance, what we can do is we can just sign out dot sign out. After sign out, what we need to do is we need to return. So instead of it, first we can after sign out, we want to send the user from the admin seller home activity to main activity. So we can do it right now. We can we need to create some intent. Intent i equal to new intent of seller home activity dot this to where we need to send this we need to send to main activity dot class here we need to send and we have some flags whenever we are using the logout we need to add the flag so the user can't come back to that activity and wait a minute yeah it is here i was searching that symbol in the keyboard and we need to clear the task i dot it is start activity the start activity of i and now we need to finish it and we need to return true and yeah this is that's it for the seller logout and in case of home we are just sending the user from here to here only start activity from seller it is new intent of seller home activity dot this from here we are sending the user from to here itself so it's no need so now what we can do is so we can also add the what it is like the user we can also add the remember me option so it is very easy to do it so let us just go to our main activity where it is here is our main activity and here we need to create on start method for it let us on start here what you can do is firebase user yeah firebase user equal to fire it is firebase user equal to now firebase auth it is firebase auth dot get instance dot get current user and if the firebase user is not equal to null then we can send the user to seller home activity if it is not equal to null what we need to do is We can send the user from here to there. Let us start activity from main activity dot this to seller home activity dot class. Yeah, now it is showing some error. It is asking to start. It's what you can do is you can just create the intent again. So intent i equal to new intent of main activity dot this to it is seller home activity dot class and now we have forget to put the semicolon and now we can start activity of i now it is perfect yeah that's it for this tutorial guys in the next tutorial no we can check it right now whether everything is working or not and we can go to firebase and let us see if everything is working fine or not we can just close it our gradle is being built and what we can do is
it is building let us wait for a minute meanwhile let me drink some water i am so thirsty So let us check for build. It is calculating the task and task. It is building, building, building. Let us wait for it. Since we have added many dependencies, it's taking time to load and we have added the Firebase authentication right now. Yeah, it's now built successfully and right now we can test our app. And let me see if there is any error. So what you can do is, so I, right now I am typing my name, something. And the phone number can be again 1234. And the mail can be whatever it is. Yeah, we can name it as CK or whatever you need. CK at gmail.com and the password is also ck and otherwise the password can be ck ck it's enough address can be instead of c dk is better dk 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 and the address can be london pan number i'm going to type some number and gst number also i'm going to type some number randomly and the bank account number also will be some random numbers and the IFSC code also some random num code and the phone number linked to it bank account also some random number and the mail can be also some random mail yeah now I'm going to click on register it is sending us back to the main activity which indicates there is an error so let us see what is the error. It is wanna become a seller. So it is giving some and I'm just typing some random text because I am And if it is clicked on register, yeah, it's giving some error. It is here. And here, what it is saying is attempt to invoke. It is saying on null object reference. Have we got the text? And I hope where it is it is we can go right now there register seller here we have mail email dot get text and we have password also but i don't know why it's showing some error and let me check it for it check for it and then check it in and we have 27 also this one it is this one so for this i think we need to give some valid phone number and mail and password so let me try again let me try again and see name can be anything the phone number also can be anything the mail can be something bigger and the password also can be something bigger i have the address pan card gst number bank account number ifsc code 
and everything was fine. Now if we register, it is again showing some error. And we have not copied that also. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial. In the next tutorial, let us resolve the error.